Hey guys, this is Logan with Nissan of Cookville, and this is the 2021 Nissan Rogue Sport SL. Now, this particular vehicle is one of Nissan's best bang for your buck vehicles, simply because at the price point it comes in, it is near impossible to get this many features and this much equipment almost anywhere else. Now, first and foremost, here is, of course, your Monroney label. This thing is powered by a two liter four cylinder engine, making 141 horsepower and 147 pound feet of torque. With that being said, you still get great fuel economy, especially since this is a front wheel drive model. You're gonna get around 28 miles per gallon average. That is going to be wonderful in a vehicle this size. Of course, it is still gonna be a compact SUV crossover. Let me go ahead and get it opened up real fast. Now, one of my favorite things about this vehicle is most definitely gonna be your back seats. So the way these are set up are a stadium style seating, meaning they are set slightly higher than your front seats, meaning anybody that sits back here will still be able to see out the front windshield, meaning that they won't have nearly as much nausea or road sickness driving in the back seat of this vehicle compared to vehicles without stadium seating. Now, not only that, but back here, you can see we do have a set of air vents on the back of the center console, meaning this back seat is going to be one of the most comfortable places to sit in this vehicle simply because you do have your own climate control system back here not only that but we do also have an amazingly comfortable fold down center console right there with two cup holders in it and of course if you didn't have passengers back here it's super easy to fold these back seats down and make a larger trunk more on that in just a second now for the back seat if you guys have kids back here anything with a car seat of course your latch system is going to be your best friend this is the latch system from nissan it's a proprietary system especially with these little plastic buckles you see there basically those little covers just make it to where those rails don't dig into your lower back whenever you're sitting in the seat but what they also do is make it to where you do not have to fish within the seat cushions to find an easy spot to anchor your child seat and then of course looking at the back of the seat you can see the rest of the tie downs right back there very very strong very very easy to use now moving on to the trunk of this vehicle first and foremost it is just a hydraulic hatch not a power lift gate but with that being said you do still have plenty of trunk space back here lots of storage cubbies on either side plenty of grocery tie down hooks as well as a great cargo cover that does lower and lift with the hatch itself of course back here you can see we do have a first aid kit as well as a full set of floor mats for the vehicle Let's go ahead and get those out of the way and you also see we have a couple of divider slats in here that's because this vehicle is equipped with nissan's divide and hide for the rogue sport so on these divider slats you can see we've got a great rubberized mat right here very easy to clean just toss it in the driveway and hit it with the pressure washer but what these little slats do is give you complete customization and control over your storage space so if you wanted a specific way to set up your trunk you've got the ability to do so with these different storage plats right there now, moving on to the front seat of the vehicle, which in my opinion is really what makes this vehicle stand out amongst its peers and other vehicles within its class, is again, the amount of features that you have. So let's go ahead and get it started up real fast. Starting on the door, you can see that we do have a memory system for the driver's seat and your outside mirrors. That is a two profile system, meaning two drivers can have their own profile set at all times. And it is just absurdly easy to use. Let's go ahead and close the door so we can get that AC going in here. Now, of course, the vehicle is also equipped with remote start, which I kind of wish I did now that I'm in here. And it is absolutely toasty because it's hot right now in Tennessee. Moving right over here, you can see we have a beautiful infotainment system. We, of course, with built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, a CD player, which is rare for 2021. Not only that, but, of course, AM and FM and Sirius XM. So any way you want to listen to music on this thing, you'll be able to. Not only that, but we've got a great climate control system right down here. It's going to be a dual zone climate, meaning a marriage saver temperature control. Not only that, but of course, it's very, very easy to toggle through all your different modes right through there with that little mode button. We've also got an automatic climate control system, meaning set your temperature, the vehicle controls the fan speed and does the rest of the work for you. Moving down from there, of course, you can see once I shift into reverse, I've got a wonderful 360 round view monitor right here with the auto reverse tilt down outside mirrors. Once you see your 360 round view right over there, you can actually press this camera button to toggle through some different modes. Right over here, we've got the front right corner. That's going to be the please don't curb your wheel camera, or so I like to, I like to call it. 
Moving on from there, of course, we've got a nice blown up ultra wide view of the backup camera in case you really wanted to focus in on a specific object you saw back there. And then of course, once you go into drive, your front facing camera comes up as well. All of these modes do also have predictive steering. So as you turn the wheel, the little lines on the screen move, letting you know exactly where you're gonna end up based on the angle of your steering wheel. Of course, back in the park, we've got a really nice advanced drive assist display in front of us right here, meaning this vehicle go shows you all the information you need to know, and it doesn't really clutter up your display with stuff you don't. You see right there in the top, the little speed limit sign, that vehicle, this vehicle does have speed limit uh, traffic sign recognition. Essentially what that does is using a little camera right up there, uh, right above your rear view uh, mirror, essentially what it does is snaps a picture of the most recent uh, speed limit sign that you passed and from there it shows you up on this screen so you're never left wondering what the speed limit is on the road that you're on beyond that this vehicle has a whole host of safety features to keep you safe such as forward automatic braking and rear automatic braking not only that but we've also got of course blind spot monitoring right here in the a pillars as well as lane keep assist and automatic high beams not only that, but we do have Nissan's proprietary ProPilot Assist, which is basically just a beefed up cruise control system. Combine that with your intelligent cruise and it is really difficult to get into an accident with this thing. Not only that, but over here on this side of your steering wheel, you've got plenty of multimedia controls as well as the directional pad to go through and actually control your advanced drive assist display, which is where you would have access to all of your different safety features and safety settings on the vehicle. Of course, you can also have your tire pressure readout. This screen right here is really cool. It is a visualization of all of your different safety features as they work for you. And then of course your left screen right here is gonna be your ProPilot Assist display. Whenever you're driving and have ProPilot Assist uh, enabled, you can go through here and actually configure that entire system to your liking. Moving on, of course, we do have some fuel economy readouts, some average speeds, and then of course we're back to the settings. Now beyond that, right down here, you can see we do have, of course, a traction control button. That right there is just a hard button for your steering assist. And then down here on this bottom row, we've got a sport mode, an eco mode, as well as a heated steering wheel control. Not only does this vehicle have heated steering wheels, we've also got have heated seats right up here in the front on a high low toggle switch. Of course, your back seats are not going to be heated, but the front seats and the steering wheel are, and that's what's most important. Not only that, but we do have an auto dimming rear view mirror with three home link buttons uh, programmed in. So that completely eliminates the need to have a garage door opener in the vehicle, as well as the auto dimming rear view mirror is just a must have in my personal opinion. Now, I know that that was a lot to go over in a very short amount of time. And I know I went fast, but once again, this was the 2021 Nissan Rogue Sport SL. My name was Logan Adams with Nissan of Cookville. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got to learn a little bit more about this wonderful, wonderful vehicle. Once again, hopefully now you know, this is why I choose the Nissan Rogue Sport SL as one of my go-to bang for your buck vehicles in Nissan's lineup. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.